Hi, good morning to everyone. In this lecture, we will discuss about arc welding. Arc welding is one of the welding process to join the two work pieces. It is based on works on the principle of electrical energy. By using electrical energy source, the arc welding should be carried. Okay, coming to electric arc welding. Okay, the welding in in which the electric arc is produced to give heat for the purpose of joining two surfaces is called electric arc welding. Uh, the classification of welding we already discussed based on pressure and non pressure welding in non pressure welding we have discussed mainly three types based on the energy that is gas electrical and chemical here uh, we discussed in a first lecture that is what is welding welding is nothing but to join the two work pieces that is similar or dissimilar materials with the application of heat pressure with or without filler materials okay is known as welding process here we are using the pressure is known as pressure welding process sorry without applying pressure but we are using heat to join this both materials we are supplying heat by using this heat source by the application of electrical energy okay to join this both materials for that case the arc welding is known as electric arc welding okay next coming to principle of arc welding here the power supply is given to the electrode and work the power uh, generally the power system consists of two cables that is anode and cathode in the two one is given to the electrode and the one is given to the workpiece here and we have to maintain the some gap between the workpiece and electrode next a high current is passed through the circuit okay next an arc is produced around the area to be filled okay how the uh, electric or is produced between the electrode and workpiece okay uh, due to the uh, here the when electrons flow from negative to positive terminal to do this here some amount of collisions will develop due to this collisions that uh, heat will be developed due to this that uh, by placing those heat energy we are joining this two work pieces here the electrical energy is converted into heat energy by producing at a temperature of 3000 degree centigrade to 4000 degree centigrade that much amount of temperature will develop at the junction of the electrode and the work piece okay next this heat melts the edges to be welded and the molten pool is formed at that junction due to the application of heat molten pool that is that what pieces will convert into liquid state that is fusion state is known as molten pool is formed on solidification of that welding joint is obtained okay observe here it can serve power supply that is ac or dc based on the requirement will change next it can serve two cables one is given to the electric holder that is electrode and another one is given to the workpiece it is the the black one is known as the electrode and it is known as workpiece we are maintaining some gap between the electrode and workpiece that is 3 to 4 mm that gap due to that in that gap the arc will uh, develop due to this arc uh, the localized temperature will be developed due to this uh, temperature the work piece uh, at that point it convert into fusion zone fusion stage that is molten metal 
is known as molten pool. After the solidification of that, the both work pieces should be joined together. Is known as arc welding process. Observed at the end of the electrode and workpiece, what happened here? It is known as workpiece. It is the electrode. It comes of. Uh, it is the metal and the black one is known as flex. What is the need of flex in the arc welding to protect the workpiece from the oxidation process? It act as a shielding, okay, to prevent the oxidation process. Next, it is the metal and slag. Next, gases uh, during the heat production, some gases will be developed. Next. It is the sulfide gas. One layer will form on the joint. It is known as sulfide gas. Next, molten pool and metal. And it is the weld after completion, after solidification. Here, the weld be, will form like that. The arc welding process should be carried. Next, AC current or DC current can be used for the welding. Uh, but for most purpose, uh, DC current is preferable. Okay. Next. In DC welding, a DC generator or a solid state rectifier is used to control the volts, voltage, amperes, okay, and it will uh, convert the uh, capacity, uh, capacity like that. Solid state rectifier is used. Next, DC machines are made up of capacity range in the range of 600 amperes. Next. The voltage in open circuit is kept around 45 to 95 volts and in closed circuit 17 to 25 volts. Uh, for DC current can be given in two ways that is straight polarity welding and reverse polarity welding. The straight polarity welding is also known as direct current electrode negative. In reverse polarity case direct current electrode positive. These are the two polarities are used in DC current. In straight polarity, the welding workpiece is made anode and the electrode is made cathode as shown in figure. Next, the electron flows from cathode to anode, thus the heat is produced at the material of the workpiece. Uh, in straight polarity welding or direct current electrode positive, uh, electrode negative DC EN. Okay. In that case, here most in that 100 percent of heat develop that is 70 percent of heat develop at the positive terminal is known as anode. In negative terminal there is 30 percent amount of heat will be developed due to this heat will be uh, required at the workpiece. For that case the straight polarity welding is preferable observed in this diagram here the power supply consists of negative and uh, positive terminal. The positive is given to the workpiece and negative terminal is given to the electrode. Here the electron flow from negative to positive terminal that is cathode to anode. Due to this the most amount of heat will be developed at the workpiece. Next coming to reverse polarity. It is uh, opposite to the straight polarity. Here uh, in straight polarity the electrode is negative but in this case the electrode is positive and uh, work is negative. In some cases, it is preferable this type of polarity where we have to uh, weld the thin section. For that case, we prefer the reverse polarity weld. Here, observed in this diagram, the electrode is positive and work is negative. Okay. Next, coming to effect of arc length. Here, an arc is uh, arc length is the distance of the tip of the electrode to the workpiece. The distance is known as the arc length. Suppose, suppose if you uh, the arc length is uh, in the range of 3 to 4 mm. Suppose, if you maintain the arc length that is short arc length, the time of contact will be short and it will make wide and shallow bit. Okay. Suppose, if the arc length is more, okay. next the penetration is low compared to the uh, long arc length. Okay. Next, Equipment used for arc length that is DC welding equipment, AC equipment, equipment accessories, operators tools. These are the different equipments in arc welding. Coming to first one, DC welding equipment. 
in this uh, we use ac motor generator set diesel engine generator set transformer next coming to ac equipment that is welding transformer set okay next equipment accessories that is leds holder connectors ground clamps okay next coming to operator tools chipping hammer uh, wire brush arc shield close shoe these are the different uh, operator tools for the operator that is uh, the chipping hammer is used to suppose after the completion of uh, welding process one layer is formed on the joint due to that is solidified slag for removing we are using chipping hammer and wire brush next arc shield uh, we are using a, a shielding device uh, for our face next close shoe okay these are the uh, different uh, tools we are using next coming to ac motor generator here in this a generator is driven by suitable ac motor next the average voltage of the generator is 25 volts next the current in the range of 25 to 100 amperes next the voltage in the generator is variable we can change the voltage of the generator next the voltage can be set to desired value with the help of rheostat we can change it by using the uh, position of rheostat we can change the voltage next coming to diesel engine generators it, uh, it is same as it driven by the ac but same uh, the uh, difference is it is used where the electricity is not sufficient and not available at that case we use diesel engine generator next transformer rectifier it allows the current to flow through it only in one direction okay because it has a one way wall or solid, solid rectifier installed on the electrode side of the secondary coil okay next the set can be uh, supply that is straight polarity that is the electrode is negative and reverse polar power supply also next the rectifier are two types that is silicon diode and second one some selenium plate these are the two types based on the material okay it is the diagrammatic representation of transformer rectifier set it is the primary coil and it is the secondary coil the electricity is uh, come from primary coil to secondary coil by this movement of core the voltage can be we can uh, change by movement of core next here rectifier and electrode holder is connected to the rectifier next work cable is connected to the uh, one cable like that the electrons flow from one uh, work to the electrode or electrode to work based on the uh, polarity given next cables or leads here the leads are made up of copper or aluminum wire okay next the wire is insulated with rubber and cloth due to the uh, due to the during the welding process in some cases the wires will touch the body of the operator it is the uh, one of the uh, effect to the um, operator for that case we have to insulate the cables or leads uh, by using rubber and cloth fiber next a heavy insulation is necessary for these cables okay next coming to face shield okay when arc is produced around the job, infrared rays and ultraviolet rays are produced. It is very effective to the, our eyes to protect face and eyes from these dangerous rays. A shield is provided. Okay, next. These are the, uh, it is the face shield, chipping hammer, wire brush. These are the different accessories. Next, coming to types of electrodes. Here, electrodes are two types. That is coated electrodes and bare electrodes okay here uh, in some cases we are used coated electrodes in some cases we are used bare electrodes in bare electrodes we have to supply the shielding gases in separate way in coated electrodes uh, by using uh, flux coated it help act as a shielding gas in coated electrodes are generally applied in arc welding process that is the metallic core is coated with some suitable material okay the material used for core is mild steel nickel steel chromium molybdenum 
etc. These are the different materials are used as a core material. Next, one end of the workpiece is kept bare for holding the electro uh, holding the electrode holder. Next, coming to bare electrodes. Bare electrodes produce the welding of poor quality. Okay, in some cases we prefer these, but these are cheaper than the coated electrodes. Okay, next, these are uh, generally used in a modern welding like uh, MIG welding. That is. Uh, metal inert gas welding technique we prefer the bare electrodes next coming to principle of arc welding here we are using uh, by using bare electrode it is known as uh, coated electrode in these absorbed one co uh, one coating is provided around this uh, electrode is known as the flux and uh, here not uh, we are not provided any flux here only arc is produced around the arc some shielding is provided by using the flux here there is no shielding are provided due to this oxidation of the joint will take place therefore it will easy the strength of the joint is low and here the strength of the joint is high okay next coming to electrode size here electrodes are commonly made in lens that is 250 mm 300 mm 350 mm 450 mm and diameters up to 1.6 mm 2 mm 2.5 mm 3.2 mm and next 4 mm 7 8 9 these are the different based on the length uh, the diameter also change uh, uh, next function of coatings what is the need of coatings on the electrode bare electrode that is to prevent oxidation next forms slag with material metal impurities next stabilizes the arc next increase deposition of molten metal next controls the depth of penetration next controls the cooling rate okay these are the functions on the uh, coating uh, coating on the electrode material okay by using these coatings we are uh, we can uh, advance we get the advantages of the uh, advantages that is mainly we prevent the oxidation it is one of the major defect in the welding process okay in some cases uh, the oxidation due to the oxidation the material it convert very brittle suppose uh, for small application of loads if the joint should be filled okay that is one slag it will uh, the gases uh, during the welding process at the metal pool, heat is react with the gases in the atmosphere like nitrogen, nitrogen, uh, oxygen, reacts with uh, molten pool and create one layer is known as oxidation process. Okay, due to these, the joint should be the joint strength will be reduces. Okay, it is about electric arc welding. Okay, thank you.